¿Qué significa For Your Town to be my pueblo? ¿Eso significa que soy bienvenido? ¿Significa que estoy confortable? ¿Que me siento en paz? ¿Eso significa que estoy con mi familia y mis amigos? ¿O que tengo tiempo libre? ¿Qué significa For Your Town to be my pueblo? ¿Las iglesias me darán la bienvenida? ¿Las escuelas me darán la bienvenida? ¿Significa que tengo una casa? ¿Que mi voz será escuchada? ¿Tendré un buen trabajo? ¿Qué significa? For you? Undocumented immigrants every day, they, they, they don't know if they will come back to, to their house. I get up uh, 6 a.m. every morning. It's always something else to, to uh, is happening in the community, uh, in the work we do with Athens Immigrant Rights Coalition and with the other organizations. But also I have my own life and I prefer to start doing something for myself. Uh, maybe go to the gym uh, early or walk my dog, uh, make me a good breakfast, take care of myself. In the last three years, we've been helping about 35 families or more uh, who are in detention or deportation proceeds. But we know their cases are doubled, maybe, and because the many of those are in, in the silence, in the shadows, maybe it will triple that number. With this new regime and administration, um, the, the, the numbers are up, really. And, but we don't know when they, they're going to uh, raid Athens, when they are come to, to try to raise their numbers in Athens. The Latino community has been furious for years, saying President Obama has deported more undocumented workers than President Bush did. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. We will begin moving them out day one, as soon as I take office, day one. Yo recuerdo hace que a mi amiga me llamó un día por la mañana diciéndome que su esposo había sido arrestado por ICE. Ella estaba llorando, estaba nerviosa, estaba asustada y no sabía qué hacer. Él estuvo detenido en un centro de detención en Stuart por seis o ocho meses. Después fue deportado a su país. Ellos, ellos eran una familia muy unida. Les dedicaban mucho tiempo a sus hijos. Tenían su propia casa, una casa móvil. Y después ella tuvo que deshacerse de sus cosas. Tuvo que vender su casa, tuvo que vender sus carros para, para irse. Casi todo el tiempo estaba con ella durante la semana. Los viernes tomaba, íbamos a a trabajar en Casa de la Cultura, hacíamos cerámica, era muy divertido. Y por las tardes este, llevábamos a nuestros hijos a clases de karate. Entonces era mucho el tiempo que, que pasaba con ella. Okay. Okay. Sí, sí, extraño mucho a Betty. Ella es como mi hermana. Obama also did these raids, but the raids usually took place in the middle of the night, and Trump's administration has decided to do these raids in the middle of the day, kind of to send a strong message to undocumented immigrants in the country and show that he's planning on being a little more harsh. My name's Diana Omana. I'm 20 years old. Um, I've grown up in Athens, Georgia, almost my whole life, and my family and I are originally from El Salvador. I found out that I was undocumented, I think, in the ninth grade um, from watching the news and um, then my parents telling me, oh yeah, they're talking about you. 
Georgia is really one of the worst states in the union to be an undocumented immigrant. HB 87 was a bill that basically gives law enforcement the authority, if they suspect that the person might be an undocumented immigrant, to ask for their papers. They arrest people for minor traffic infractions, a tail light that's missing, that sort of thing. This was a serious problem for a lot of immigrants because it leads towards racial profiling. How do you how do you suspect that someone's an undocumented immigrant by looking at them? One of the most common things is for driving without a license. And of course, that's another reason why Georgia is one of the worst states to be undocumented in is because there you cannot get a driver's license. Also, the issue of higher education, the fact that there is a ban on undocumented students in some of the top universities here in the state. I think we're one of maybe three states, it's either three or four in the country that um, that actually have a ban on undocumented students. A lot of my friends um, in high school went to UGA and it was very easy for them. They didn't have to think a lot about the college um, application process. And me, I was really worrying because I wanted to go to a good school and already like the top three or five colleges in Georgia were saying that I couldn't go there. So people leave Latin America for different reasons, but the economic model is the same, neoliberalism, capitalism. Uh, we see, we see people getting richer and richer, richer and richer, and at the same time, the poor get poorer. So the idea of USA having a free market and then um, the dollar, the money, the exchange can travel one place to the other. But the people who produce those exchange, who produce the, the food, who produce the, the clothes, uh, they cannot travel. The program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. I would, I would concede that the DACA, some of the DACA kids are a little bit different because they came here as small children, as you did. But for the 11 to 15 million people who snuck in the country and are using forged documents to work. These are kids that are here through no fault of their own. They did not decide to come here and break the law. Their parents did that. In order to, to make DACA happen, we create this idea of the good immigrant and the bad immigrant. So the bad immigrants is their parents because they brought these kids to USA. A very common phrase is, these children came here through no fault of their own, meaning that their parents are criminals for bringing them here. When I think about my undocumented status, I mostly think about my parents who, who made it possible and are who, who struggle a lot more um, day to day than I do. I think that DACA was only a cure for the wound. It wasn't all for the kids. They deserve more. And it's time to fight for something better, something more just. We recognize that it's a, a good moment right now when DACA is being killed by this administration to recognize the fight is for 11 million of undocumented immigrants, not only for a number of a small number of people. It's time to call for, uh, to stop deportation and incarceration um, of any human being in USA. That is where um, the Aden Simian rights members fight for. Yo quiero que mis hijos y los hijos de mis hijos vivan en un mundo sin tanto racismo, sin nada de racismo. Un mundo donde haya más unión familiar, donde papás no sean separados. Un mundo donde haya igualdad. Un mundo donde haya justicia y mucha paz.